How's it going? My name is Steven Christian. I'm a medical student. I'm a STEM educator and I'm a visual artist. What I do is I tell immersive stories about black experiences in America. And I do that through comics and cartoons. And the purpose of my work is to not only educate, but entertain and empower those to overcome stereotypes and create opportunities for themselves. I go by the model create and conquer, which is creating opportunities that overcome stereotypes and bias. And that's what my work focuses on, really decoding bias and combating stereotypes through the practice of art making and engaging with technology. And my work has been featured in the Wall Street Journal, it's been featured in HBO, it's been featured on Unity's platform, as well as social media sites and news stations. And with it, I really empower and educate and implore people to think beyond what is possible for them in hopes of inspiring others to do the same. In this course, we'll be looking at Afrofuturism. And so you might be asking, hmm, what is Afrofuturism? Well, Afrofuturism unchains the mind. Afrofuturism stretches the imagination far beyond the conventions of our time and the horizons of expectations. And not only that, but it kicks the box of normalcy and preconceived ideas of blackness out of this solar system. Afrofuturism inverts reality by rewriting stories. It destabilizes previous ideas of blackness and lays a new path for us to explore what was considered uncharted territory. In this workshop, we will explore the history and the impact black cultures have had on our society. And we will also establish a framework for how to create works through the lens of Afrofuturism. We will explore what is Afrofuturism, why it was created, why it matters, and how you can be an Afrofuturist. This is a wonderful journey that allows you to not only explore a new area, but also tap back into the roots of where we all come from. We love TikTok, we love pop culture, we love music, we love all these different things that are sort of a byproduct of American culture that we think. And often they've been extracted from black culture and, and denied the essence of blackness that it stems from. And so this course is going to be a opportunity to reconnect with that, reconnect with the roots. And so for me, it was very enlightening going down this path to learn about Afrofuturism and learn about my connection to my history and my culture. And I hope that this gives you an opportunity to explore many of the culturally relevant things that we often take for granted in society. And so hopefully it's an enlightening and empowering journey for you as it was for me. And I hope that this allows you to reconnect in a way that allows you to create through a black cultural lens. And so the goal for this isn't to convert people over to thinking about black people in a different way. Yes, that's part of it. But the goal is to acknowledge and address some of the things that have happened historically to deny the existence of blackness. That being in art and technology and a variety of different industries. And so as we look at this and we explore a lot of these different things, we will also be able to engage with it and think about it holistically rather than through a lens that is in many ways propagandistic. And so the agenda for this course is pretty simple, right? It's going to be split up into three parts. Part one, which is going to be what is Afrofuturism and why it matters. Then we got part two, which is how does Afrofuturism work and who does it represent? And then lastly, part three will be history of Afrofuturism and a lot of examples of what Afrofuturism is. And so I'm excited to take you on this lovely, lovely journey because really the goal of this is to explore what Afrofuturism is, why it is created, why does it matter, who represents Afrofuturism, and how does Afrofuturism work? Again, my name is Steven Christian, and I'm excited to take you on this journey with me. Again, this is not meant 
for experts by any means. But for those that probably don't know what Afrofuturism is or don't realize that they participate in many of the things that stem from Afrofuturistic ideas. And so if anything else, the goal of this is to take somebody walking down the street and being able to recognize what is Afrofuturism uh, in plain sight. And if we could do that, that is a that is a good job for us. And so again, this is introduction to Afrofuturism, and I hope that you enjoy the journey as much as I enjoyed teaching it to you and learning along the way. So without further ado, let's get it started. <laughs>